Hello everybody, hope everybody's doing really well. So I know I've kind of been MIA for, oh my goodness, almost two weeks now. And I do apologize, it's just been a really busy time for me. So I figured maybe I could get on and do some coloring and just kind of chat what I've been up to and such. And yeah, I have a bunch of random things I wanted to talk about today, um, like why I've been gone, um, like books I've been reading, shows, movies, Disney Plus, this new book, you know, just a little bit of everything. Um, I don't really have a plan, so we'll see how this goes. But I wanted to color in this um, Hatchet Heroes, um, Disney, the Grand Classiques, uh, the eighth volume book. That was a mouthful. But this book was just released in October. I did do a full flip of it, which I can link. Um, and I've done one page in here already, but I wanted to do another one. And I'll be working on page 54. Um, I let you know the number because... Um, I guess I can just show you what it's going to be. <laughs> so if you don't want to see what it is, just, I guess, fast forward a couple seconds, but it'll be a spoiler alert. So like I said, I'm doing page 54, and it's going to be this right here. So it's from Cinderella. All right, we're back now. So I guess I can zoom in a little bit so you can see more. But I, I only like to do pages of the movies, cartoons, whatever it is um, that I've already watched. So I've seen Cinderella, so I feel comfortable and okay with coloring this page. But um, for example, I've never seen The Princess and the Frog. I know the story, but I've never actually watched the Disney film. But so I don't color those pages but I will watch Princess and the Frog and then you know I feel like then I qualify <laughs> to uh color those pages I don't know if that makes sense to anybody but I feel like I'm like cheating in a way if I start coloring pages for um movies and shows that I know nothing about so if you've never seen one of these books it has the color code on the bottom and all of these have a black outline to them, which I love. So I figured I'd start on the outline. To be honest, I find it much easier to start with the outline and then to proceed to the coloring because you kind of know what your boundaries are. Um, to be honest, I get bored really quickly with things. So for me, I tend to not do the whole outline at the same time because the outlining is not my favorite part, the coloring is. So I'll usually do some outlining and then some coloring, then outlining and coloring. Um, so I usually do a little bit of back and forth just to keep myself entertained. And yeah, so the reason I've been missing, well not missing, you know, I haven't really posted in almost two weeks now and I've, I've been complete garbage at responding to comments too, which I will get to today, I apologize. But as I've mentioned before, I am currently at university. I am working on my master's degree. And the semesters here are different as compared to in the States. So there's a winter semester here and a summer semester. So my summer semester had just wrapped up, goodness gracious, I think, oh, like end of July was the end of the semester. And then for a couple of months, it's exam season. So I had just a lot going on in the last two weeks. Um, I had one exam, I think it was October 6th or October 7th. Um, that was really, really big. And I'm happy to say I passed. But yeah, it was a very difficult exam. For anybody who cares, um, the course was called Bayesian Statistics and, wait, Bayesian Statistics and Data Inference, I think is what it's called. Um, we just all just called it Bayesian. But it's a math course. And yeah, it was a pain, but fortunately it all went well. My friends also did well. So it was an all around success. But yeah, that was very time consuming. And then I had another exam earlier this week. I had to prepare a project. The course was called machine learning. 
I had to prepare a project and then I also had to present it and there was an oral exam as well. So, and for anybody who's wondering, it was done online. So it was all done in a Zoom meeting, but still it was very, very time consuming. And therefore I didn't feel that it was right for me to be, you know, posting videos and such because I was just really overwhelmed and doing a lot for school. So yeah, that's kind of where I've been, but I am all done with this semester. Uh, the next semester s starts quite soon actually, and it will be online again. So it's been announced that everything's gonna be online. Um, I think they're doing some things in person, like if you are a nursing student or like a biology student and you have labs, um, I believe those will be happening. I, I don't know if they happened last semester, um, you know, my degree does not require labs or anything like that, so I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, so we will be doing everything online again, which to be honest, I really enjoy. I enjoy the online classes. I enjoy always being in my sweatpants. Like, <laughs> can anybody else relate? Like, it's so nice to be in comfy clothes and yeah. So... That's what's happening this upcoming semester. I haven't chosen my classes yet. I have an idea, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So I can't really state what I'll be taking, but I'm excited. I I'll always am excited by the beginning of a new semester because it's a clean slate, you know, and, and this is an exciting time of year we're heading into, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Obviously it's gonna be very, very different this year. Um, with the pandemic situation and hopefully people can still see their families. Um, I will be here. I will not be going home for at least Thanksgiving. I know for sure for Thanksgiving, I will be here for Christmas. Fingers crossed. I would love to go home and see my family. It's been over a year since I've seen them. Um, but with the pandemic and everything, I don't think that'll be possible. So I will most likely be spending Christmas with my friend's family. I spent Christmas with them last year. They're wonderful. They cook a mean meal. So it will be nice. Again, it would be obviously very, very nice to see my family. But the people I spent Christmas with last year were absolutely wonderful. But yeah. So I guess I can also talk a bit about what the situation is like here with a pandemic, because I know it's always interesting to hear about different parts of the world and how things are being handled. And I know it's even being handled differently all over the states, depending on your state, depending where you live. But so I am on the outskirts of Berlin. So my city is like a half an hour train trip away from Berlin. However, they're technically located in different states. So some of the regulations that are happening in Berlin are not applicable here, even though we're so close. And some of the regulations here are not applicable in Berlin. So it's been interesting, <laughs> but for the most part, you know, they are, they have been the same, but things have been getting better here for a long time, you know, and the, the regulations were lifted. Some of them, obviously not all of them, like, our restaurants are open now, not 100% capacity, but to a good amount. Uh, we still have to wear, oops, sorry, hit the camera. We have to wear masks in public transport as well as indoors. Like if you go grocery shopping or you go clothing shopping, whatever you're doing. Um, but I think there was, goodness, the amount of people that could hang out outside, I think was like 100 or something so like slowly things have been getting lifted you know it's been get a, getting better better and better however as of a couple of weeks ago things took a very drastic turn here so the rate of new cases skyrocketed like the number of new cases happening right now is higher than ever so it has never been this high in this area it is more than it was in May or April, you know, during the peak times. So people are starting to panic again. 
I was at the grocery store the other day. I was trying to get myself some shampoo and the shampoo aisle is the same aisle as like the paper products and there was no toilet paper. So people again are stocking up on toilet paper. So I guess the first round of the pandemic did not teach anybody that, uh, you know, bodily functions were not affected by Corona. But <laughs> uh, yeah, people are stockpiling toilet paper again um, and salami, weirdly enough. I went to the deli the other day and they had a very minimalistic artistic display going because people were stocking up on their salami. So can't blame them. They have very nice salami here. <laughs> but so yeah, as you can see, I'm just doing the outline right now, but I guess I can switch to coloring for a bit too. So yeah, things are getting more restricted, restricted again. I'm just trying to decide what color. Um, so as of the 24th, when was the 24th? Yesterday, right? Yeah. As of yesterday, we also have to wear face masks when we are outside in highly public areas. So um, like the main train station, if you're outside of the train station, you have to wear a mask even though you're outdoors. You also have to wear it on like the main streets. So it's the restrictions are going up. We'll see what else changes, but as of right now, that's a big one. Also, everything has to be closed at 11 now. So that includes like bars and restaurants. The clubs have never reopened. Uh, but yeah, things have to be closed at 11 and it's quite strict. It's very strict actually. So if you know anything about Berlin, that's so unheard of for Berlin. Berlin is a huge nightlife city, you know, whether it is going dancing or just going to a cocktail bar, you know, there, Berlin is kind of also the city that never sleeps. There's always something happening. So for things to be closing at 11 for Berlin is just groundbreaking in a way. Um, so that has been a big change. They've also restricted the number of people that can be hanging out together. Um, it is now five people, I want to say. So yeah, so that's kind of the restrictions we have now. We will see how it progresses and how it changes. But yeah, the number of cases has skyrocketed significantly. Um, I don't go many places, I'll be honest. Like I said, my classes have been online. I also work from home. I have a student job, so that means I work part-time. But I, it has been from home. So I usually just leave the apartment to go to like the grocery store, I do go for walks. Um, if I ever hang out with anybody, it's just my close friends. And they're also in the same situation. They're home unless they're seeing the same friends um, so we are being pretty safe or you know we're being smart about it obviously masks everywhere um, yeah so that's current status of the pandemic and everything here um, but let's switch to something else so I have been watching a lot of Disney Plus which I've been really really enjoying what have I recently watched I watched Frozen not too long ago, and that was actually my first time ever watching Frozen. I had never seen it, and there was so much, you know, hype about it. Obviously, it was a huge film. Um, interestingly enough, um, the houses in Frozen were actually based off of a house in Norway. So the architecture, the colors, everything was based off this one house in Norway, and I've actually seen it. It was in Oslo. So it was very popular with the tourists for obvious reason. It was like the frozen house. Um, it was beautiful. It's an old, old, old building. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to pick a nice shade of blue. Um, so yeah, I watched Frozen not too long ago. Don't know how I feel about the movie, to be honest. Um, I liked some parts of it. I loved Olaf. I thought he was so cute and he was so funny. That line of, you know, some people worth melting for, like, come on, beyond adorable. 
Um, I found Elsa to be a little annoying. So Elsa is the one that freezes things, right? And like, I get it, you know, it's not her fault that she, you know, she has this gift or power, whatever you want to call it. And obviously she didn't mean to hurt her little sister. Oh, also if you haven't seen this, spoiler alerts. <laughs> um, so she doesn't mean to hurt her sister, you know, when they're little. And obviously it sucks that she has to be like locked up and, um, well, she, didn't, she wasn't put in jail or anything, but you know, she has to stay away from her sister and I get that it's hard, but then she like has this party, freezes the city and then she's just like, oh yeah, bye and leaves. I was so confused by that. Um, but I loved Olaf. I loved, what was the horse's name? It's not a horse. The reindeer, the carrot loving reindeer. I liked him. Um, Anna was also not my favorite. I don't know. I feel like that's pretty typical for me. I go for the not main characters as my favorite. But yeah, so I watched Frozen recently. Oh, I also rewatched High School Musical. So such a, th such, such, such a throwback. So when those movies came out, I was the biggest fan. I mean, I used to like cry to those movies because I just wanted things like that to happen to me. I don't know if I should be admitting this, <laughs> but I loved High School Musical. Um, one and two were pr shown on Disney Channel. And then the third one came out in movie theaters. And I did go see it in movie theaters. To be honest, I don't remember much about the third movie. The first one is obviously my favorite. Second was my second. Uh, third is third. Um, but I think we, I still have it on DVD somewhere at my parents' house. I had like the dance along version. It was... Pretty sure I got it for Christmas because my family like knew I was obsessed with it. I had posters on my walls. Gosh, I want to say I had a planner that was High School Musical. I had like pins and maybe I had a notebook too. I don't know. I was obsessed. So, and then I quote unquote outgrew it and I haven't really watched it since because um, I stopped watching Disney Channel but now that I have Disney Plus and I decided to watch it and oh my goodness it's so nice to rewatch the movies they're so funny they're so overly dramatic um but yeah it was just like a little such a big part of my childhood I loved it I loved rewatching it and I actually posted something on Instagram, like I think to my stories that I was rewatching it. And so many people were like, oh my goodness, like what a throwback, what a throwback. So I know I'm not the only one who loved those. Well, obviously I'm not the only one who loved those movies. They made billions or millions, whatever. They were very popular. But... Uh, it was so nice to watch those movies again. I'm, ha I think, like halfway through the second movie right now. Um, I don't, I don't really watch them all in one sitting. I will play them when I'm like eating or something. Um, yeah, because the show that I've been watching, I can't really watch when I'm eating, and that is Grey's Anatomy. So has anybody else seen that show? So obviously, no, it's not on Disney Plus. Here, I get it from Amazon Prime. I th like a good amount of the seasons are included, but not all of them. I don't remember which uh, first through something are included. But I am on like season nine, I want to say. And yeah, so I've been texting my friend about it. She's seen all the seasons so many times. So she knows it's my first time watching it. So she's not spoiling anything for me. But like something will happen, I'll text her and I'll be like, oh my God. And she's like, oh my God, yes, I know, I know. So she's waiting, she's patiently waiting for me to watch it so then we can gossip about it. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really good show. I don't know if anybody, oh, well, I'm assuming at least somebody has seen the show. Um, but it takes place in a hospital and it's about 
this group of people who are interns and then they are residents, right? And then they're fellows. So it's kind of their progression through their medical careers. Sorry, I'm just trying to sharpen the black pencil. Um, and it's very interesting. I do have to say the mortality rate of the people that work in that hospital and their family members must be the highest in the USA because one of the things that the show is known for is killing off their characters. Like, and I get it, you know, if, if it's a show that has so many seasons, actors are, wanna, like, are gonna want to leave and pursue other shows and movies or whatever. Oh, I broke it after all that effort. Um, but they just kill off people left and right and not just the main characters, also their family members. So whenever somebody like really important, like really big in the show dies, I'll text my friend and I'll be like, oh my God, like another one. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of drama, a lot of crying, but they also show like the surgeries and things. So that's why I can't watch it when I'm eating. I can't, I don't know, something about eating and watching like an open heart surgery, I can't do it. Uh, just to make sure I'm in the frame. But yeah, I've been really enjoying that show. But when I'm having a meal, I tend to switch to Disney Plus and watch my High School Musical. Or I watch YouTube videos. Something that's a little less bloody and gutsy. But if you want a good show to binge, Grey's Anatomy is a good one. Also, I don't know. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion. Does if you've seen the show, does anybody else think that Meredith is really annoying? Is it just me? I don't know. Like some of the seasons, she's okay. Some of the seasons, she's just so obnoxious. Um, in the episode, I think one of the last episodes for last season, there's an episode. Okay, I'm not gonna spoil it. But there's an episode where Meredith is crying and that crying scene, I just fast forwarded. It was so, so, it was too much. It was just too much. But overall, show is lovely. Thumbs up for me. Again, sorry, just trying to pick a colored pencil here. And I am using, let's see, four. I am using... I can't, can you see? Farber, Fa Faber, Faber, Castell, excuse my pronunciation, classic color pencils. These are not the, um, because I know this brand also has like really, really nice high-end pencils. These were super cheap. These were the first pencils I got because I wanted to make sure I, like coloring was something that I enjoyed and I was gonna stick with before I, you know, bit the bullet and bought something more pricey. And now I have my Arteza pencils that I use for things that involve shading, but these I keep around for color by number. Um, let me see. So yeah, that was Grey's Anatomy. I have also been reading a good amount. I listened to my first ever audiobook. So I never did audiobooks because I thought I would have a hard time focusing on them. And to be honest, at first it was, I wouldn't say difficult, it was just different. Cause I've, again, I've never done it before. Um, but my friend, she started a book club and she asked me if I would like to join. So obviously I said, yes, of course. And it is a digital book club. Um, it's actually across three different time zones, which is really cool. So my friend is currently in Hawaii and she recruited some of her friends there to also join. And then um, there's also people from the East Coast um, of the States. I think there's some people from Connecticut and New Hampshire. So between there and Hawaii, it's six hour difference. And then I'm here in Germany, so that's another six hour difference. So yeah, it's across three different time zones. So it's been interesting trying to coordinate everything because it's a 12 hour difference between like me and my friend in Hawaii. So last month, it's a monthly book club by the way. 
So last month was the first time we had the book club. And for me, it was at 11 p.m. Fortunately, I'm not somebody who goes to bed early anyways, but I had to call it quits after like, I think we were still talking at like 1230, so it was past midnight for me. So I was just like, okay, I'm sorry, but I gotta go to bed. Um, but we listened, to, well, I listened to read, um, I believe it was called The Vanishing Half, and I forget the author, but I could leave the information down below. And it was a really interesting book. I enjoyed it. It was an interesting discussion that we had. And then this month, it's a different book whose name I do not remember. But again, I got it on an audiobook because it's easier for me. Um, I The other book, I would listen to it while I was coloring. So it really, you know, I was able to focus on the coloring and also pay attention to the book uh, because a lot of the time if I color, I watch a show or a movie and I feel like I miss out on a good portion of the film because obviously my head is down because I'm coloring. Sorry, also these pencils don't fit the sharpener very well so it takes me like ages to sharpen a pencil. But I think it's because they're like, as you can see, they're not circular. And for some reason, this sharpener just is very anti that. Um, but what else was I gonna say? Yeah, so I listened to that book for book club. And then I have been reading, I was actually reading it today. Oh, where is it? I think it's on my bed. Um, it's called The Understudy. And again, I will leave um, the information below of the book. And I found that book in a free bookshare they have here in the city. So you can just go and pick up books that you like and you can drop off your books. So it's very much, you know, sometimes you go and you'll find m multiple books that you like. And sometimes you go, you'll find nothing because it's all donation based. So what I do and what I did during the peak pandemic was, you know, I pick up a book from there, I'd read it and then I would return it. So pass it on and then, yeah, it's been lovely. But the book is really funny. So the reason I picked it up is because it's in English. It can be kind of hard to find um, books in English at these uh, book swaps because obviously I'm not in an English speaking country. So most of the books have been in German, but you know, it's still possible to find books in English that Bookshare held me through the pandemic. Um, I think this is her hair, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, the reason I picked up the book is because it was in English, but also on the cover and on the back, all the reviews had to do with how comical and how funny and witty the book was. And I love a book that kind of makes you go like, oh my God, like that's so funny. So that was, that was very, very bad impression but what I mean is what I love a book that makes you giggle to yourself so so far it's been doing that it takes place in London so I just imagine British accents <laughs> but it's lovely and I know the author has written other books as well I I will try and look into see if maybe he has books at my library but I do want to finish that book first. And then I recently also got a book that I'm quite excited to read and it's very out of character for me. So a while ago, I found this really funny show that it's a British TV show and it's a British dating TV show. And if it sounds like a colossal, hilarious mess, it absolutely is. It is so funny because the like the filtering of what can be said on British TV is very different from that on US TV. So the show is just hilarious. It's called Celebs Go Dating. And I hope some of you have seen it. You can find some of the seasons on YouTube, but the show is so funny. And it's just celebrities, like British celebrities, where some of them are American too, they go on dates they get set up on dates with like normal individuals, so not celebrities. 
and just their reactions and like the interactions priceless so so funny and one of the girls that was on that show one of the seasons she was just so precious she was so funny and she was just adorable very posh and so i liked her so i followed her on instagram this was a while ago and then she wrote a book and it was like a memoir um you know funny pieces of her life and such so when i found out that she was writing that book this was I don't know, maybe like two years ago. I actually ended up pre-ordering it on Amazon and it was delivered to me and I read it and I thought it was really funny. Her style of writing is very like lighthearted and witty. Like you can tell she's not, you know, she's not trying to be the next like great author, you know, that sounds so awful. Um, like she's not trying to be the next Pushkin, you know, um, like, She's just writing because it makes her happy. And I really like the book. I liked her style. And then recently, she had also announced that she wrote another book. However, this one was fiction. And it was called, it's called Meet Me in London. Again, I will leave the information below for anybody who's interested. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera. Um, and it's a romance novel. I don't do romance novels. I never have. I don't like romance movies. Um, I don't know. I just find them to be cheesy and unrealistic and all that fun stuff. I mean, if that's your cup of tea, that's great. But it just never has been mine. But I still pre-ordered this book because I wanted to see what else she came up with. So I haven't started reading it yet because I am about halfway done with my other book. And I dislike being in the middle of multiple books at the same time. Maybe if one is like nonfiction, the other one's fiction, that's fine. But if both of them are fiction, my brain just gets overloaded. So yeah, I purchased that book and I'll keep everybody updated or you know, in case anybody cares. But I think I'm gonna stop here um, just because I'm already at 32 minutes and I don't know when my phone's gonna freak out. But thank you so much. It's been really nice to kind of just sit here and frankly talk to myself. Um, but yeah, I'll upload this video and then I'm looking forward to uploading the monthly wrap up, which is coming up so soon. It's crazy. October's flown by. I know a lot of people are excited for Halloween. I'm not a Halloween person, but I am excited for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And let me see, I've been keeping track of how many pictures I've done this semester. Oh. Oh my god this month i also look at my little book that i got it was so cute this little doggo and says very berlin um i bought it at one of the like the tourist stores here in, Ber in berlin and it was on clearance um i think it was like two something so it was really inexpensive so i decided to keep track of the books and things in here so i'm currently at 25 pages for the month which for me is quite good. I'll be honest, most of them are color by number. But yeah, I'm excited to do the wrap up. That might be the next video I do. We'll see. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I hope everybody has a lovely October. And I hope everybody enjoys Halloween. Bye-bye.